Hi guys, so today we're going to do one for you. Um, I'm going to be doing more Pippa card readings. I prefer giving guidance than just the celebrity predictions, if I'm honest. Um, I'm still going to do cele celebrity predictions, but overall, I prefer more the guidance, if I'm honest. So again, if this resonates for you, take the information. If not, it's okay to move on. This is going to be, where well, we've all been, me multiple times. Should I let this connection go? Okay. And I'm going to do, <laughs> let's say I'm going to do, I'm feeling five groups here. So should I let this connection go? Group one. Group two. Group three, group four, group five. Okay, I've got all your cards, guys. Should I let this connection go? Group one. This isn't actually bad, guys, group one, if you pick group one. Okay. So we have the Knight of Wands, which means a really fun guy. Very, very youthful. So he could be... Um, even though this is meant to be like a younger card, because it's not a king, it's a knight. As I said, I'm an intuitive reader. With this, I feel like it's somebody that's just very young at heart, okay? Very, very young at heart. And here I see a wish come true as well. The star means a wish come true. I hear abandonment here as well, abandonment. And I feel with group one, this guy's actually going to be helping to heal that by bringing in the laughter randomly, okay? So it's not like he's going to be bringing in... Um, all the serious heavy chats but he's going to be bringing in the fun and the laughter and the happiness and and that's going to free your heart a little i hear so for group one it's almost like um this is going to be a healing process for you and i feel he's come in because you don't need serious right now you need somebody that you can be kind of be i hear goofy with have a laugh with have fun with so for for group one should you keep this connection going i'd say yeah I really would say yes. Um, I like this energy. I like this card. I love this card. And again, I feel this is somebody older, older, but they're very young and youthful and they will keep you youthful as well. And they're going to bring the fun back into your life and it's going to bring a lot of happiness. So fun leads to happiness with this. So I would say a million percent, guys. I like this guy's energy. I like this. So group one, yeah, I'd say keep it going. You need more laughter in your life. It's not all serious. Right, let's have a look at group two. Should you keep this person in your life? Should you keep the connection going? Again, another good group here, guys. So another really, really good group. So the Six of Pentacles to me is always somebody very giving, very, um, he feels you're worthy of a lot of attention and a lot of affection, and he's really gonna be looking out for you. This means being treated. It could be being treated to dates, it's not always in a material way, guys, even though this is a money card, the pencils, Pentacles card. It's more in a nurturing way, I hear a group too. So it's more like he's a nurturer. He's going to be very giving with his affection and his time. And even better, we have this card here, okay? Do you see that? So the Seven of Pentacles, this means this is building. This is building. This means if you put the hard work in, it will pay off. And the best thing about group two is I feel he's the one that's going to be extremely keen and putting the hard work in. It won't be all you. It won't be all you. He's really going to, I hear, prove his worth here if, you, if you're in group two. So again, should I keep this connection going if it resonates with you? I feel he has a lot of appeal here as well. And he's the kind that's going to fit in very well with your family and friends as well. And they're all going to agree with him as such. Like there's no... There's nothing dark or undercover with this guy. How he acts is very much how he is. You know, there's nothing hidden or... He's not one of these charmers that can charm your friends and behind the scenes is a complete dick. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I hear with group two, what you see is what you get with this connection, okay? And I like, again, another great card, another great energy, very, very giving towards you in an emotional way, not in a money way all the time. If you get the money as well and he treats you like that, amazing. Obviously, every girl likes to be treated and guy. But overall, yeah, really good group for group two. Again, about keeping that connection going. Let's see, we're gonna have a good run of cards here, guys. This one's a bit iffy, it's a group three. So on one half of it, guys, 
The Nine of Cups means this guy does appreciate, a woman, what they have with you, okay, for group three. They appreciate what they have with you. It's almost like the cat that got the cream and feeling really happy, almost like you're a bit of a trophy in a way and they want to show you off, so they're really happy there. But I do feel this is going to be slow going because the Five of Cups also means, I hear this group's going to be stalled. And I think they're going to be stalled because this is a card of sadness and past hurt and pain and grief. And they could be getting over an ex, a divorce, and they're really struggling here. And I hear they've been run through the mill by this person. And they're really reluctant, even though they know like, wow, you're amazing, you're incredible. This is holding their heart back a bit, I hear. So they still need to overcome this whole process here before they can really move on with you. So don't get me wrong, they're really attracted to you. They're really into you. They, they can see what they've got with you. But we still have this past card coming here, which is grief and sadness. And also what you need to know about this card here. He's looking at everything he's lost there. Okay, this is all the losses and here's you, here's you. So he needs to turn around and really focus on this rather than the past because that's what's holding him back, okay? So again, group three, it's not really bad, bad. It's just more, um, he has a hell of a lot of healing to do. He really does. This is a proper grief card. And again, back turned away from you in a way because he needs to heal. So slow going. Group three, I hear potential, but slow going. Okay. Let's go for group four. This is a harder, guys. Uh, and then there, this is a harder group, guys. I'm not going to lie. If you pick group four about whether you should give this person the time of day, okay? Now, I say that because we have a lot of drama and arguments around them as well. And it's not going to be smooth sailing, I hear, with this group here. And the moon means something hidden from you as well. And they're keeping things from you. Now, this is slightly different from the lies and deceit card. This can be more hidden emotions and so not being completely upfront with you. So it could be the kind of person that's, when they're with you, they're acting like they gloss over. I hear this person glosses over a lot and they avoid the deeper questions as well. So they kind of gloss over and act, act like everything's rosy. But they're also the kind of person that if you really question them about their intentions, I hear, they're going to be a bit more closed off there. They're going to be a little bit more closed off. They're not going to be so open with you. So it's almost like you feel in this group, a group four, they always have a barrier up. They have this wall up with you. And that's going to cause some issues, I'm not going to lie. Okay, this resonates with you, group four. In the coming months, I think you're going to question if it's worth it, if this man is worth the time and effort, because you're always going to be wondering, can I get past this wall and these barriers he's putting up? It's a trickier group. It is a trickier group. And this is never a good card. It's dramas, conflict. I feel if you pick group four, this guy could be in battles with an ex or... Again, it could be a, 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 a partner, a divorce, going through a divorce. It, there's still ongoing drama and tensions with somebody in his life. It could be the mum of his kids, for example. Um, and I just feel there's still drama ongoing around this person here. And it's a tricky situation to walk into, I'll be honest. And I feel that's a lot of it, why his walls and barriers are put up. So again, he's going to gloss over everything and act like everything's fine. But underneath, I feel this person's hurting and they're going to be a little bit reluctant in stepping forward with you. And there's a lot of hidden stuff there that you're not aware of and tensions I hear with this person as well. A lot of tensions with him. So that's going to be a tricky connection if you pick group four. I just don't feel he's going to be extremely open with you. And again, he's going to put his best face forward when there's a lot going on behind the scenes you're not aware of yet, which will come to light, I hear, in the coming weeks and months. And I feel there's going to be an ultimatum where you're thinking, can I be asked for this? Oh, man. Sorry. Group five, just seen the cards. Group five is a messy one. It kind of went from, you know, really great. To, okay. Group five, should you keep this connection going? The three of cups, not going to lie. This nearly always comes up for me when I do readings as a third party love triangle. Somebody else hovering in the background, okay? I, somebody waiting in the wings. And the tower means this falling apart very suddenly, potentially. And I feel it's because you're going to find out about this other person. You may come across texts on their phone, for example, or... Their phone goes off at weird times when you're together. There's just something in your intuition for group five that you, you, you kind of think that you're not the only one in the picture. That's what I hear. You are not the only one in the picture if you pick group five. Now, for me, this could be more to do with early dating scenario, I feel, than somebody that's in an extremely established relationship here. I just feel it's the early stages for group five, okay? But yeah, it's not just you. It's not just you. There's more to this situation than meets the eye. And I feel it could fall apart suddenly because either he's going to back off suddenly, they're going to back off really, really quickly from you, 
once it gets a little bit too serious and they're gonna like I hear hold your arm's length and I feel that's because they also have another love interest around them that they want to explore this connection to. So group five, make sure they're really pursuing you. They're really going out They're They're being consistent is the most important thing I always say. If a guy's not texting you for two, three weeks, or if it's sporadic every two, three weeks, gives you a bit of hope, but then they cancel on the weekend. You know what I mean? There's so many red flags you need to watch out for. Take the red flag seriously out here. This person needs to pursue you to prove his worth, I hear. And that's a really quick reading today, guys, about should you keep the connection going? And at some point, I will do longer and more in-depth readings. I'm um, gradually starting to recharge very, very slowly and working up to it. And maybe at some point I can do really, really long readings, like 40 minutes to an hour. We'll have to see how I get on energy-wise. I'm not pushing it right now. Right. Love you all. Bye.